Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to round off the following numbers to Daenerys 5. For a quick recap, note that if you have numbers 0 to 10, our unit position it's either changed to 0, 5, or 10 based on the value we have. For example, if you have numbers from 2, 1, this numbers changes to 0. If you have numbers from 3, 4, they change to 5. Or you're rounding up to 5. If you have numbers from 7, as shown, you're rounding down to 5. If you have numbers from 8, as shown, 8, 9, you're going to round up to 10. So basically, when you're rounding up to the nearest 5, the value of your unit or the number in your unit position would determine what number you're going to round up to or round down to. In the first example, we have 157. The number in the unit position is 7. If I go back to my expansion or my explanation for rounding off, if I check 7, it means that I'm going to round down to 5. So therefore, our value becomes, if rounded up to the nearest 5, 155. In the second example, the first check is the number in a unit's position. That's the first number from your right. That's 9. 9 falls under 8 and 9. Anything 8 and 9, you round up to 10. So what that means is, if I round up 9 to 10, I'm going to be adding 10 to my value or 1 to the next position that's in my 10s. And the number in my 10s is 7. So I have that as 7 plus 1. That will be 80. So therefore, rounding up 79 to the nearest 5 will be 80. Next example, the first check is the number in the unit position. That's 1. And if I look at the diagram given, if I have 1, I'm going to round down to 0. So therefore, a number becomes 2,650. The 1 becomes 0. The next example, 673, the number in our units position is 3. If I go back to my table, 3, I'm going to round up to 5. So that number becomes 675. In the next example, I have 8 in my position or my unit position. If I go back to my table, if I have the number 8, 8 is being rounded up to 10. So therefore, I'm going to be adding 1 to my 10's position. 2 plus 1, that's 3, and then the 8 becomes 0. So I've changed 8 to 10, adding that to 20, that will give me 30. The next example, first check the number in my unit position, that's 2. And on my table, 2 is being rounded down to 0. So therefore, 52 becomes 50. And in my last but not the least example, I have 900 and. 4, 4 for my table is being rounded up to 5. So therefore, 904 rounded off to the nearest 5 will be 905. Thanks for watching. Bye.